Hello, beautiful people. I hope you are well today. I thought of sharing today about something that is connected to what I posted so far. In previous posts, I shared about the people that I follow, my mentors. One of them, which I think was in the top of the list, was Jay Abraham. I recently saw um, an interview he gave to a wonderful lady. He's a billionaire, by the way, and he leads with his heart. That's why I watch him. And two times in that interview, he shared about control. Unlike the behaviorist, him and I believe that we do have control of our lives. And it, in big part of it. And there is something that, in legal terms, uh, as I have some background, uh, we used to say, especially here in Canada, I guess, um, you know, like catastrophes, accidents, or whatever, they're an act of God. So those are something we cannot prevent, control, or change. But the rest, which is a, a very big part, and that's why I say you can't control your life, like I mentioned in the post yesterday. So related to that, the interview where Jay Abraham says it and the post that I made, I invite you now to look at control from my perspective. Please join me in looking at it as observers. And in order to do that, Come with me on an imaginary observation so it's, it's easier for us to notice. Let's say all of us here, those watching and me, are sitting in a room and we're all in a circle. And that room is full of light. And somewhere in the middle of the floor, there's a podium, whatever you want to call it. And we have the world, the world as it is today. And let's look at it and notice. When we think of control, what do you notice? Just, you know, see yourself as a huge person, as a giant, looking at this at the earth being very small in your palm and you're just looking at it and watching what happens on the earth right now. You can pause the video and think of a situation of control that you see as control, whether it's in relationships or uh, the government controlling somebody or you, you know, anything you want. You got it? Okay. While you share or, be, you know, while you're thinking of it, let me tell you what I notice. What I see is a child controlling another through fear and bullying that person. One child who feels, you know, chubby, feels powerful, whatever, he is pushing, not physically, but through words, through bullying. He's pushing some somebody, you know, another child to the wall. That is one way of controlling. Let's just notice that. Let's sit with it for a while and see the situation. And then we put it aside. Okay, are you with me? Now, 
again, we are all in the circle and the world is in the middle. The room is full of light. And this time, when we look again at the world, we see another situation. And to make it easier, I'm going to say, what is the situation I'm looking at? I'm looking at a woman and a man in a room of their house. The woman is standing calm, poised, full of love, compassion for herself, for the other, just in the flow. And the man, what is the man doing? Oh, hmm, I see. The man is authoritarian. And he's very loud and he's, he's speaking to her in any hurtful ways he feels in the moment, you know, like just being aggressive. Vocal. Hmm. Let's sit with that. What do you notice from the image I portrayed? Now let's put that situation aside. And let's come back to where we are right now. You at your house or office or wherever you're watching this, and me here. So let's say we have these two situations. One where we have control, the first one. We have control using fear, aggression, trying to impose on somebody else's views, perception, whatever, right? Like trying to be the strongest, be the best, be the whatever, superiority. This is one example of control that is like that. And then we have another situation where we have that woman who is calm and poised and she is Sending peace and love. She is unwavering, unshakable. Okay. I wanted you to see that we have a choice. We can choose to live from the first type of control where. We use, and I'm not going to say what, <laughs> and, and, and the other type of control. So now you, when you're thinking of this first situation, please see, sense, or feel in your body, in your heart, and listen to your wisdom and ask yourself, that young man who was bullying the other, was he doing it from the mind or from the heart? Mm. You get it, don't you? It was from the mind. Only from the mind. And now when you think of the woman, the woman who was unshakable and peaceful and compassionate and calm, how did she do that? Where did she use that control, to control herself and her environment, because he didn't do anything. Her husband would just speak to her. He wouldn't touch her or anything, and she was not touched by what he said. She was unshakable. Where does that kind of control come from? Is it from the mind or from the heart or both? What does your body tell you? What does your heart tell you? A 
it could be both, but mainly it's from the heart. So to sum it up, we have control, which is something that comes by or through attachment and reaction to situations, to people. So it's how we perceive. And it most of the time, if not all the time, it is illusion. It comes from illusion. It's how we perceive the world, and it's not the reality. And then we have control, which is self-mastery, like one of my friends said. Self-mastery, and it comes from response, not reaction, or non-response by being detached. Um, making the choice to surrender, um, to take action from another path, from the heart. Um, and towards another path. Now, this is a bigger subject. It, it's not covered in 11 minutes. So please bear with me. I'm going to share more. Uh, and together we're going to look at control in, from different perspectives. I really value your time. Thank you for being with me, for watching this. And if this was valuable to you, please um, leave a comment and say what resonated with you or what insights you have. I would really love to know. I love you. I honor you. I cherish you. And I respect you. I am Andrea Petrut, Relationship Coach. It was nice to be with you today. Mm-hmm.